Come this day, my child. Kaladia Mukiana Kashiki, I wish to take you on a journey into my heavenly realms, into my paradise. Namatia Nawakiana, reach out your hand, place it in mine, and together we will fly. Fly into mysteries unknown. I have so much I wish to show you this day, my child. Valeria Naka, relax and let go. Allow my peace to fill you full to overflowing. See the waterfall before you. Gaze upon its beauty. Breathe in the crispness of the air. Look at your surrounds, my child. What do you see? My Lord, I see the most magnificent waterfall. I see the greenest trees around me. I see a river running through the forest. I see rocks. I see animals. I sit down and take in all that you are showing me. It is so beautiful. Every cell in my body is filled with peace and joy, contentment and rest. I feel forgiven of all my sins. I carry no heavy burden. I am in paradise. I am one with you, my Lord. I see my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our Lady Anokoshi, I see his face. He is radiant, he is beautiful, he is holy. Oh, Nianakia Nahashi, I could gaze upon his countenance forever. His glory, his beauty, his smile. His eyes pierce my soul. I am completely safe when I am with him. My child, I am your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, and I love you. I am with you. I bring you into paradise, my paradise. I would die again for your salvation, for your soul, because I love you eternally. You are my bride. I am your bridegroom. Come dance with me in spirit this day. Flow in the spirit. Relax, let go, enjoy. I feel the Lord's Spirit move through me. Our spirits become one, entwined. In heaven, the spirit of a person is able to entwine in love with another. We become one. I see him so clearly, yet he is one with me. My child, this is no different to the earth when I came by my spirit to dwell within you. We were one. So in heaven, you can dwell within me and I can dwell within you. And we are one. Just as it is on the earth, just as you hear my voice now, just as you feel my tangible presence, so in heaven, in spirit and truth, we can be one. I am your life force, my child, your holy God. Oh my Lord, it is so beautiful to escape the earth, the fears and the trials, the tribulation. Just to lie with you, in the meadow. To be one with you, to feel safe, to have no heavy burden, no fear of sickness or disease, no fear of death. In heaven there is complete freedom, rest for the soul, 
I do not carry the weight of sin upon me, for you have removed it. You remember my sin no more. My child, our Lady Anohashi, you served me faithfully on the earth, and I thank you for this. You moved by my spirit. I saw those who came against you, those who rised up against you on the earth, who mocked you, who criticised you. I saw them, my child. But still you persisted, still you carried on. Because, because of you, because of your words, many came to salvation. Many souls received me, my love. Many will walk into paradise at their life's end. But many also rejected your words, the words I spoke through you on the earth and they will not be in paradise at life's end. I have given the world enough warnings. My judgment comes. Every soul must pass from the earth. Every soul must make a decision, a wise decision, a decision based on truth, not fear, not control. If you are in a religion on the earth at this time, but you have no relationship with me, with the living God, if you do not feel me dwelling within you now, if you cannot hear my voice or feel my presence, then my child, walk away from the religion you are now in, for it could destroy your soul. My child, I am a living God a living spirit who wants to interact with you whilst you live upon the earth. Just as I will one day interact with you in heaven. If you do not know me, confess your sins before me now. Bow your knee. Declare, Anahariya, that I am the Lord your God. Anahashini anakashi, and I promise to come and make my home within you. I promise to forgive you of your sins and turn you from your wicked ways. Alahashi, I promise you will walk into a life of righteousness and love and peace and rest. But you must choose to walk away from the religions that bind you, from the religious spirit, the chains, the law, the rules, the doctrine, the theology. Do you know me, my child? Do you know me this day? Do not come against this servant of mine who knows me well. Do not try and convert her to your faith, your beliefs, your ideology. Do not try to convince her that I do not exist. She knows me well. She has known me since she was a small child. I have walked with her every day that she exists upon the earth. She will not renounce her faith in Christ. I am her Lord, I am her Saviour, I am her Deliverer, I am her Friend. She will not renounce me and turn to another faith, another religion. You cannot convince her with your clever words. She knows me. She sees my face in heaven, in paradise. She is filled full to overflowing with my Holy Spirit. She hears my voice speaking with her now. So why would she change when she has complete peace and complete rest in me? when I have led her and guided her every day of her life, when I have fulfilled every single promise made to her, when she has seen the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, 
when I have opened the floodgates of heaven and invited her in to share this story with you all, why would she change? Why do you need to convince her that you were right? Do you know me? Have you been Kriyanahash into my heavenly paradise? Do you hear my voice or feel my presence? Or are you simply following rules and doctrines? Rising up in anger for a cause, Kriyahashi, that will not benefit you or mankind. My children, I have been reaching out to you all since Kriya, the days of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses. I am Yahweh, Yeshua, your Holy Spirit. We are one in three and three in one. My name has not changed. Do not get so caught up in your doctrine and theology that you miss me during your lifetime. I am a God of relationship. I am your God. And I love you, my child. Do not take your anger and frustration out on my two servants this day. They are here to deliver a message for you from me. And I have been preparing them for many years. And now is the time, as the world shakes, Oh, as the world shakes around you, now is my time to speak forth this message to mankind. There are so many religions on the world, my children, it is not so hard. I have not made it difficult for you, I have given you one book, one book to read. Why do you walk away from this book? What is so hard about reading these words? Why do you need to find another Kriyana religion or faith to satisfy your soul? Nothing will satisfy you but me, your God. I am your truth. I thank you and praise you, my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us this day. Have mercy. Forgive us of our sins. And welcome us into your paradise at life's end. The paradise that I see before me now. Oh Lord, walk with me all the days of my life. I wish to feel your presence, your tangible love, your glory. My child, release my glory, my healing power unto the nations. Reveal unto my children the paradise that is to come. Do not listen to those who do not seek my face, who do not know my name. Their words are meaningless in my sight. Rise up, my children, this day. I am the Lord your God and I am with you. I have so many words to speak to the nations concerning the times you are now in. Life is fleeting. Life is fragile. Life is uncertain. My children, rise up and begin to worship. I wish to awaken you spiritually this day. Do not spend all your time arguing and bickering and trying to prove that your religion is right. My child, I am speaking with you now. Father, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, there is no other God but me. I created your universe. 
I created every part of your being, your planet. I intricately designed every single cell and everything you see. Do not listen to false doctrine, false prophecy. The words of man. I have come. Because too many souls are being separated from me in the life hereafter. Too many souls have not been forgiven of their sins. Who are walking around blinded to my reality, my love, my forgiveness. Too many souls are being lost to the darkness. Do not let yours be lost to the darkness, my child. For obstinacy and arrogance to accept my ways. I have had enough of the arrogance of man upon the earth. My children, you are a sinful generation in my sight, and this needs to change. You have turned from your God and you have gone your own way, your own wicked ways. And I have had enough, my children. Confess your sins before me. Give unto me your heart, your love. My children, you need to be born again by the Spirit of your Holy God. To do this, you must believe in a Saviour. Confess the name of Jesus Christ as your Lord. And I promise to come and fill you with my Spirit. And you will never be the same again. You will dance in my love. You will be filled with joy and rejoicing. You have nothing to lose this day, my child, except your soul if you reject these words unto you now. And you will live an eternal life in darkness. Yanaka Yana separated from me and my love. For you cannot enter paradise if you have not received me upon the earth. This is an eternal truth, my children. I did not make this up for this generation. This is an ongoing truth, generation after generation after generation. And I am telling you and warning you now. You must be born again, born again by the Holy Spirit, or I will not know you. I will cast you out from my sight, from my holy presence. Do not think every single soul is going to dance in paradise at life's end. This is a lie. This is not true. This is what you desire so that you can live your life of sin. Not even the glance in my direction. Not be thankful or grateful to your God for all I have given you. You will not walk into paradise if you have not been born again. Born again by the Holy Spirit, my Spirit. For I promise, I will not know you. Today, my child, I am calling out to you. Do not come against this servant of mine. Yanaka, do not try and convince her to follow your ways. She knows me well, my child. You will never convince her to abandon her faith in me, her love for me, for she sees my face in heaven. She holds my hand in heaven, in paradise. I am her bridegroom God and she knows me well. She is steadfast in her love for me. Her eyes do not leave my sight. Listen to her this day, my children. Listen to the words of my holy messengers as they are speaking to you now. The days grow short. 
the days grow cold. Desperation is sweeping your planet at this time. Rise up my children, confess your love for me and I promise to forgive your sins and welcome you into a life hereafter. No more bickering, no more arguing, no more mocking. I am watching you my children and I will protect my two messengers on the earth. Do not come against them, my children. Walk away. Lay down your sword. Your battle is not with them. Your battle at this time is your faith and hope and trust in all which I am speaking with you now. The battle is in your mind. The battle is for your soul. What will you do this day, my children? Will you choose me or will you forsake me? I am inviting you into a journey with your God, an everlasting journey in paradise. Through my death and resurrection, you will be raised to eternity. You will Karihashi Kitareana awaken in paradise at your life's end. But if you walk away in obstinacy and pride, in arrogance, then I will not know you. And you will be judged for your sin. I will only see your sin. And you will be cast out of my presence. I do not want this for you though, my child. I am inviting you to come to me this day because I love you and I died for you. I will give you everything, my child. Eternal life. But Thikriyana, I am separating the wheat from the chaff, the sheep from the goats. Those who are lukewarm will be spat out. You must stand firm in me. You must know with all your heart, soul and mind that I am your God. And apart from me there is no other. Stand firm, my children. Do not flinch. Do not quiver. I am the Lord your God. Allah Hyanakati, come dance with me in paradise this day. Come sit with me beside the waterfall. Come play in the meadow. Come dance in my love, the love of eternity. I wish to open your eyes to heaven, to paradise this day. Lay down your rules, your doctrine, your theology. Do not think with your physical mind. But allow your spiritual mind to be activated. Allow my Holy Spirit to come and live and dwell within you. And then I promise my child you will see paradise. You will see my face. You will feel my love. Thank you, my child, for listening to my words this day. You have free will now, my child. You can decide what you wish to do with your eternal soul. You will either accept me or reject me. I am watching and I am waiting and I am hoping for you to give your heart unto me as I have given my heart for you, my life for you. Thank you, my child. For listening to my words this day. I love you forever and eternally. Now and forever, my child. Now and forever. Amen.